Dr. Major Harshita Surange, cons consultant radiologist and interventionist and uh, director and founder at IPSC India. If I speak about the challenges, so regenerative medicine has got lots and lots of challenges, much more than any other thing. So I would like to bifurcate the challenges into multiple multiple places. The first and the most important challenge is education. In India, people are not aware. When I say people, I mean the doctor community. They are not aware what are the latest things which are coming in regenerative medicine, how to use the regenerative medicine, where to use it, how to select the patients. And the major cause for this uh, backwardness or this lag in the education among the doctors is number one, the primary education. When I talk about primary education, then it again means that during our basic education of MBBS and even post graduation, we are not updated upon the latest trends because it is somewhere missing in our course curriculum and even since the teachers are not educated in, enough educated with this, so the, they don't pass it to the next generation. That is the first part with the lack of education. The second part is even this is since it is not covered in insurance, so doctors are not very willing to do it and the patients are not ready to accept it. This would be the second challenge. The third challenge which I would say is at the end of the patients. The patients in India are not that compliant. When I speak about compliance, it means that they just want quick results. However, we should understand that regenerative medicine is not about giving quick results. Regeneration is going to take time. Grow, regeneration is nothing but growth, regrowing your tissues. So, if I say that today I will do a regenerative procedure for you and tomorrow you would be okay, that is not a fair statement to make at all. So, the acceptability that the medicine is going to affect and bring in the improvement after one month is not accepted to Indians. And the expectation setting is not well done by the doctors either because they are not taught how to communicate well. So, lack of communication at the doctor's end, the lack of means education and the lack of latest techniques available. These are the major concerns. Then the next thing which I here I would like to bring is the um, what we call about the machines. See, regenerative therapy is again a upcoming branch and the machines, the techniques are changing every day. So, bringing all those latest technologies continuously requires a lot of funding and lots of money. So, once if I speak about a private practitioner, he buys a machine and then after 6 months we are going to tell him no, now this, has, this is what is new which has come up and there is no buyback for that old machine. You know, we are a poor country, definitely we are a poor country. We cannot keep upgrading our machines every six monthly or maybe yearly. So, that again brings a, pushes back the regenerative therapy in India. So, these are the major concerns which we face in India. As I told you about the major concerns, so there must be ways to overcome them also. So, the uh, easiest way to, easiest way again is at the end of doctors, we need to be more expressive, we may need to do the expectation setting very well among the patients that this is what is expected and then we need to upgrade ourselves. Now when we talk about upgrading, upgrading means be at par with the latest changing techniques and this can only be done when the government and the private and uh, both not only the government but even the corporates are wanting to upgrade their doctors and this can be done when we when we give them regular trainings upgradations maybe a doctor goes and gets trained what's the latest and then he could dissipate the knowledge amongst the, uh, the rest of the people and of course the media media is again a very very important source of communication these days let it be print media let it be social media or any media Whenever there is something new which is coming up, it should be very well covered by the media and once it is covered by the media and the general public comes to know, they are going to demand and when there is a demand, there would be a supply. 
the moment the patient asks the doctor sir i need to understand more about this ki how can my torn tendon get repaired so the doctor is definitely going to upgrade himself that this is the latest demand so i feel a regular trainings we at ipsc are uh, are very very you know we are coming up with lots of trainings with the latest regenerative medicines which are coming up and we train we have trained almost 600 students globally in regenerative medicines and pain procedures and all those students whom we have trained are doing pretty good and are getting upgraded and are dissipating this knowledge further in their own countries and even in india